video, we're going to look at how to assess, level, and zero a pressure line. This could be a central venous pressure line on a central line or an arterial line. In this case, we'll look at arterial, but they're pretty similar. So first, I always start at the fluid bag when I'm assessing and work my way down towards the patient. The pressure bag should be inflated to about 300 millimeters of mercury. There's usually a green indicator line, so just add more pressure if you need to. The IV fluid in bag shouldn't be expired. The drip chamber should be about half full. And there should be no air in the tubing all the way down to the patient. All the stopcocks should be open. And the only exception here is if you're draining fluid from a ventricular drain. So the tubing should be attached securely to the invasive line wherever it is, and the dressing shouldn't be expired. So now that we know everything's good, we can level the transducer. So in the case of an arterial line, we're going to use the patient's phlebostatic axis, which is the fourth intercostal space mid-axillary line. So line up the transducer stopcock with the phlebostatic axis using a carpenter's level or a laser level. The bed should be in the lowest lock position, so you may have to move the transducer itself up or down a little bit. Once you're level, you can zero the transducer system. So you're gonna turn the stopcock off to the patient, remove the cap, keeping it sterile to open the system to air. So off to the patient, open to air. And then you're going to, on the monitor, select the pressure waveform and select zero. Now this may look different depending on the monitor you've got. Once the screen reads zero, you can put the cap back on the stopcock and turn it back to the open position. And then I like to always flush the line with a fast flush feature to ensure that there's no bubbles in the line. So once it's leveled in zero, you should read your uh, pressure reading and document your new pressure. Now in your outline, we've listed the different places that you're gonna level to depending on the type of line that you have. So central venous pressure, um, intracranial pressure, arterial pressure, et cetera. So make sure that you review that. All right, guys, that's all we've got. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.